The winner of the Commonwealth Bank Business Owner Award is Vicky Berry. Oh, thank you. This is very exciting. I hadn't thought about writing a speech until I went out um, to the business workshop last night and, and uh, we were told, you have to write a speech, so I've, I've written one, so that's good. Um, look, one of my very good friends has a saying that he lives by, and if it's to be, it's up to me. I like to change that one a bit, as I believe that if it's to be, it's up to thee and me. I wouldn't be here today if I didn't have a strong team behind me. My family, my husband who's here today, uh, fantastic employees, and in particular, my good friend Belinda, who started with me more than five years ago as a part-timer just working a few hours a week. She ended up being my business manager and she's now established her own bookkeeping business but still helps me a couple of days a week. Belinda, can you stand up please? Because you have just been fantastic. So, well done. I also wouldn't be here today without Telstra and our other sponsors. Now, one is a bank. Which bank? <laughs> the Commonwealth Bank, of course. <laughs> Thanks very much for sponsoring this award. Thanks also to all the other sponsors, uh, without whom this event wouldn't happen. Now, I've, I've also been helped along the way by being a member of many organisations, such as Family Business Australia, Landscape Contractors Association, Chamber of Women in Business. There are uh, many associations that uh, help, help us all. And I can't emphasize enough um, how good it is to be a member. Uh, rec I recommend that you join your professional association, but also other associations that can help you in other ways, like uh, the Family Business Australia helps people in particular family businesses, and the Chamber of Women in Business, of course, helping women in particular. The other thing is you can give back too, and I think in helping others, you help yourself. Now, as you can read in the little screed, Easy Care Landscapes designs, construction, maintains beautiful landscapes that are sustainable and also provide clients with a sanctuary from the busy world. I'm really lucky to be in a business that's full of beautiful, down-to-earth and grounded people, pardon the puns. Um, anyone who's prepared to get their hands dirty and cares about plants has to be a lovely person in my books. My husband, Greg, has just retired from the public service and he's been helping me um, out in the business in uh, the last few weeks. He only retired a few weeks ago. He bounds out of bed in the morning, Looking forward to the day, the difference in his life compared to working for the government, and my apologies to all the government people that are here today, <laughs> um, is that he can see something concrete. Oh, there's another pun. <laughs> Sorry. At the end of the day, he's working with something real and meaningful. He can see, touch and feel it. And I just feel so privileged to be in a business where um, at the end of the day, I've got something that I can look out there and say, I, I did that, I built that, I'm helping the environment. It's just wonderful, so I'm very privileged. When I started out, I intended to work a couple of days a week as I had young children. The business grew exponentially and I was soon working seven days a week and about 10 hours a day. At the time, my son, who was in primary school, when his teacher asked what his parents did, he said, Dad works and Mum sits around with friends drinking cups of coffee. Yeah. Um, a very, very common idea, idea that some children have. But a few years later, he said to me, I don't ever want to work as hard as you. I want to have some fun in my life. A bit of a sad comment on the lack of balance in my life at the time. But um, I felt I had to prove something, that a woman could make it in landscaping. At the time, I was the only woman in the ACT who owned and ran a landscaping business, and I still am. But one of the lessons I've learned along the way is that the only person I had to prove anything to was myself. Another lesson was don't work so hard that you lose sight of your love and passion. If you do, you might as well give it away. I've been lucky. My job is so good that if I get stressed at work, if I'm working too hard, I can go home and work in the garden. 
and, and do some more work, and that's how I de-stress. I mean, how good is that to have for a business? Look, I hope that my winning the Telstra Business Owner Award will inspire other women, that it will show them that they can make it in whatever area they choose, not because they're a woman, but because they have the passion, the will and determination to succeed. Good luck to everyone, and thanks again to Commonwealth Bank and Telstra. Oh,